That's damn tasty. That's good. I like that. That's really good. Pad Thai tonight on Cooking with John. Welcome back, guys. As I said, we're doing Pad Thai tonight. This is a recipe courtesy of uh, the Food Network's Melissa Dabrium. I think that's how you pronounce it. At least that's how I'm going to. Anyway, this is her recipe. If you don't know what we do here, guys, we go online, find a recipe every day, go to the store, get the food, come back, cook. That's what we do. And we're also trying to set a world record, guys. It's a world record for most consecutive days cooking a different recipe off the internet without ever repeating. We're on day 11 of this. It's going well. Going very well. Uh, this is day 71 of my 365-day uh, cooking challenge as well, so that's that's nice as well. Uh, tried a whole lot of different things, very good stuff, but anyway, we're doing some pad thai tonight. This is turkey pad thai. That's what it's called. I don't have turkey. I have chicken. So it's chicken pad thai. I know it says turkey, but it is chicken, all right? We... Chicken. Anyway, says we will start with our sauce. To make the sauce, in a bowl, pour the boiling water. So I have just boiled the kettle here, and it calls for a cup or a quarter cup of boiling water. So let's get that on the go. Quarter cup of boiling hot water. What was boiling hot water? I'm gonna get that back on there. That's perfect. Awesome. Or brown sugar in there. And the boiling water is to dissolve our brown sugar for the sauce, guys. There we go, let's get that mixed in there. These are away. Okay, once we got that dissolved. Oh, very nice. Don't you love the nice new glass bowls, guys? Very nice looking right there. Nothing special really, but hey, they're nice bowls. Okay, now we're gonna add some lime juice, fish sauce, and rice vinegar, and sriracha and stir it. So we've got our fish sauce. Sriracha. So we'll get that over there. There we go, our sriracha sauce. Beautiful. Along the lime juice of a lime. Boom. The juice of a lime. Right in there too. Just like that. Okay. And our chicken. So let's put our chicken in there and let that all the flavors envelop in the chicken and the sauce. So, okay, we will do that. We'll get that stirred around here, get that chicken all coated up. Very nice. And it says to set that aside. Not much to this recipe, guys. It's kind of a leftover turkey recipe, but, or chicken. Um, whichever way you want to go with it. But, you know, it's kind of something different, something interesting. I've never made it. I don't mind pad thai, that sort of stuff, so hey, why not? You know. So, next step, it says, heat the oil in a wok or large skillet pan over high heat until very hot. Almost smoky. Add the onions and stir for a minute, then add the garlic and stir, and then add the eggs and whatnot. Right. So, I got my oil here, chuck in the pan. Not smoking hot yet. We get that on the go. We'll give our onions a cut up, or otherwise we're going to... Not have any onions, it's just sliced onions, so it says half an onion sliced. My onions are pretty small, so I'm gonna go with a whole one. And plus I really don't like half onion recipes and things like that. Just because you know then I'm stuck with a half onion, I don't know what to do. I don't know who makes recipes with half that juice. Just silly. Some guys, as I said, I'm stuck with a onion and I don't know what to do with the rest of it. But anyway, that's okay. So that's there. We gotta beat our eggs up too. We got three eggs. Said lightly beaten while our pan's heating up. We might as well do these. Just a short one today, guys. Fairly simple video, as I said. We were going to do like a live stream. That's what our plan was, but uh, my technical knowledge isn't good enough, apparently, or my equipment isn't at the moment. So we'll try that again at another time, soon enough. Should be fun. I'd love to do one. I think it'd be a great old time. Why not? Watch me cook live. Huh? Can answer all your questions. Not that I'm sure you have any that I can answer, so that's okay. Anyway, pan's heating up. Oil's pretty hot. Oh yeah, almost smoking. So now it tells us it says throw the onions in, I believe, and fry for a minute. 
Then add the garlic and stir. Oh yeah, that's hot. Like that. Get them all fried up for a minute. Beautiful. Look at those onions go. Come on over and take a look at them. Come on guys, don't be shy. Check those out. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those onions. So lovely, lovely. So, now we're going to chuck our garlic in and get it nice and fragrant. Garlic in, stir it around, get back in there, onion. Yeah, the onion's trying to escape. Okay, after that, we uh, garlic, stir, then add the eggs, cook for 30 seconds, stirring. Add the linguine and the turkey and the sauce and all that good stuff and cook her with meat. Alright, so we're going to cook her. Throw our eggs in, cook them stirring for about 30 seconds. That pan is not spinning, that'd be awesome. Alright, those bad boys in there. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get that should be about ready, I think. Cook for about 30 seconds. We're pretty close, I'd say. Let's go grab ourselves our chicken and stuff. Our pad thai sauce with chicken and whatnot. Throw that in there. That bad boy in there. And give it a stir around. Could be an interesting one. Kind of look weird. I like the Asian stuff. I, uh, mainly I'm used to just kind of Chinese food down the street. But hey, I don't mind trying other stuff. That's awesome. So it says to root back from the heat, I believe. Let's see what it says here. Uh, Roof from heat and toss in grated carrot, peanut, cilantro, bean sprouts, and another scallions to serve the languages. All right, this bad boy's almost ready to go, guys. We will be right back. Hold on. The camera girls just informed me that I forgot to throw in the linguine. And I think she's probably right, because I did. It's right here. So we'll toss that in and stir that around, too. All right, so now we're going to add the rest of it to it. We have got our bean sprouts in the pan. A couple cups of bean sprouts. Large carrot grated. Some cilantro. This is a lot of food, guys. Got some peanuts. And some green onions for the end of it. And then we're going to give that a mix around. And that is about that. So, our pad thai is pretty much done. We'll be right back when this is played up, guys. I think it might be good. I'm hoping so, anyway. Alright, guys, welcome back. There's our pad, turkey pad thai, or chicken pad thai, if you wet, if you may. All ready, ready to go, looking pretty good. I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. Let's take a look at our date and time here, guys, as we're over here. It is Saturday, the 14th of March, 2020, at 7.22 p.m. Not that the time matters, but the date matters. Let's give this one a whirl, guys, see what we think. That's damn tasty. That's good. I like that. That's really good. I didn't know what to expect, guys. But damn, that turned out well. Holy jeez. Anyway. If I can see you guys, make sure you hit those like button and don't forget that subscribe button too. This has been another one cooking with John, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Different recipe. Day number 12. Who knows what it'll be. See you then.